When people are doing a history research task, one of the most common things they forget to do is background research. However, this is one of the most important stages in your research, and it can be the difference between passing and failing a task. In this video, I'll explain what background research is, show you how to do it, and provide you with some examples. So let's begin. Welcome back to another History Skills video. Today we're looking at background research. This step typically only happens once you have a completed key inquiry question. If you haven't yet created or been given a key inquiry question, watch the video above. Once you know what inquiry question you're attempting to answer, you're ready to undertake your background research. So what is background research? Well, background research is the stage of the research process where you are seeking to gain familiarity with the key names, dates, people, places and concepts that are central to your historical topic. Background research aims to make you comfortable with all of the important terminology associated with your topic so that you're not confused when reading them in historical sources. While this stage is very simple to do, many people rush through it too quickly and find that they don't really understand their topic well enough and, as a result, their research essay is poorly written. Spending significant time doing background research will give you a wide breadth of historical vocabulary to use in your writing, which will make you sound more sophisticated in your written expression. The ability to use a wide range of names, dates, technical terminology will impress your marker and can result in lots of marks that you would not have earned otherwise. Please note that you don't have to reference where you gained your background research from. Since this is considered to be common knowledge, you don't need to provide any in-text or bibliographical references for your information. So how do you conduct background research? Doing it is quite simple. It requires you to read books, websites and watch historical documentaries that introduce you to the people, places, dates and terms that are part of your research topic. Websites like Wikipedia, Ancient History Encyclopedia and History.com are good places for background research. As you read through sources like these, make sure you record the names, dates, locations and technical terms you learn. By recording these things, you can come back to this list when you're writing your essay and incorporate as many as possible. If you'd like a pre-made note-taking sheet for your background research, you can grab one from the History Skills website by clicking the link in the description section below this video. Typically, you should spend at least one or two hours of focused background reading and note-taking before proceeding to the next stage of your research. At the end of these two hours, you should have a useful collection of information that shows that you now are well informed about your historical research topic. Let's have a look at what a completed background research should look like. For this example, we are conducting a research task about the role of weaponized gas in the First World War. As part of the background research for this topic, we needed to know who the important people were. We recorded the names of important chemical manufacturers and the main armies that introduced these weapons. Also, we collected a range of key dates, often with exact days, months and years, of the times when gas was introduced or was most significant in the conflict. Next, we collected a list of the important locations where gases were used or developed. And finally, we gathered a list of the technological terminology about different gas types and medical terminology that was frequently used when describing the impact of gas on people. As you can see, this background research now provides us with a huge range of subject-specific words that we can use in our historical writing to show that we genuinely understand the topic under investigation. Now that you have a better understanding of the role of background research, I hope that you feel more confident in your studies. If you need further explanations, examples and advice, head over to historyskills.com and I'll see you next time.